Hi everyone, Dr. Linda Kramer and today is Tarot Day! Oh my gosh, what a great day to get a tarot reading because it's also Mother's Day. So here in Australia on the 8th of May, it's Mother's Day, whether you have it where you are or not. So let's firstly look at what is Mother's Day. Is it just a day to go up to your own mother and say, I appreciate you? No, it's not. This is a day for mother. Imagine what mother represents. <clears throat> it is a day to acknowledge anyone who nurtures, guides, supports, etc. It's a day to go up to somebody and just say, you know what? You were there for me when I needed you, like a mother. Okay? Today is not just about a biological mother. It could be a stepmother, it could be a foster mother, it could be a grandparent, cousin, auntie, uncle. Uncle? Huh. Could a male nurture, support and be there for us? So today it's not just about identifying that one person in our life as the mother. Today is the day to acknowledge everybody who does mother motherly things, okay? So today, just so you know, I go and see my mum. I also go and see my sister because she is my daughter's godmother. So I always get her a Mother's Day card because she hasn't got children herself. So today is acknowledging that what she does to nurture, support and help others. Okay. I also look at myself because I'm a mother. I look at my daughter, she's only 15, she's not a mum yet, I hope, <clears throat> but I look at her with how she looks after our cat, how she looks after her fish, how she looks after the yard, and she looks after her bedroom, etc. So she's still doing motherly things, even though she's not a mother, okay? So it's not just about going and seeing your mum today, guys. It's about being there for anybody, male or female, who has been there for you, supported you, been that support network, etc. Okay. <clears throat> it's early morning here. I just had a coffee, so now my throat's all raspy again. Okay. So today, I've gotten my three cards already drawn, and I've got my bag of ruins. Just look at them. That's because I never hardly ever show them. So here's all my ruin stones, okay? <clears throat> so the first card that they said to do today was my tarot cards. These ones. And guess what it is? It is the moon. The moon card. So let me go over to my book so I can read it. <clears throat> so it's not just my ego. That, why do you think I like going back to the writings about these things? So it's just not my ego, okay? So today's tarot is from today, Sunday the 6th, until next Saturday the 14th of May, okay? And we have the moon card. So number, where are we? 18 in the major arcana. The moon represents illusionary situations. Let's just go there. What is an illusionary situation? You know, I, I was watching one of my videos the other night. And I was talking about Bob and Ben. We create this false reality. We marry one brother, but we always have a regret. Oh, I wish I married his brother instead. My life would have been better. So when we say that, our brain instantly creates this false reality of a situation. Okay? So that's what they're talking about here. Illusionary situations. It's, <clears throat> it's like we're going into a different timeline. <laughs> okay? Okay, where we, we we make up situations in our head and it's not real, okay? So the moon represents illusionary situations, possibly deceptions and feelings of uncertainties. So this is where a lot of people now, we're doing things now that we haven't been able to do for three years. <clears throat> it could be getting into um, new careers, new hobbies, new friend circles, finding your tribe. And you have these doubts because we're creating false realities of what will be. 
This is how we form anxiety, by the way, because anxiety is when we try and control future events. Okay, future is anxiety. Alrighty, so emotions are highly charged and fluctuating. So who's going to be out there thinking, oh my God, am I bipolar today? Okay, because one minute you're all happy, 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 lovey, dovey, dove. And then the next minute you're sitting there going, oh my God, oh my God. You get this really anxiety feeling coming in, this lower vibration occurs, okay? Like a pendulum swinging back and forth. So we are in Mercury retrograde at this point. <coughs> Again, it does crazy stuff to us. Where one minute we're really happy and then the next minute it's, oh my God, now I've just got to go and grab the chocolates and watch a... Um, rom-com on the TV okay due to the mystical association of the moon it can also show our dreams more vivid okay you'll be having more vivid dreams who's doing that give me a like on the bottom if that's happening to you okay as the subconscious reveals itself to us <clears throat> so this is where we've got to look at our dreams and and analyze them okay I personally don't like analyzing other people's dreams because it's so personal, okay? All right. Um, feelings of intuition and gut instincts are heightened. Now, if we haven't had intuition before and we haven't had those gut instincts, we don't know how to react. So first thing is we get scared. Secondly, we don't believe it, okay? We don't want to trust it, okay? And then we have an expectation that it's going to happen again. So sit back and enjoy the roller coaster that we're all on. That's what the card is saying, okay? Okay, when this card is present, it is. it also warns that it's important not to jump to conclusions. For the light of the moon can create illusions, shapes in the shadows that are not what they seem. There is usually far more to a situation than first meets the eye, and it would be wise to be watchful, but not to act in haste. <clears throat> taking time until the situation has revealed itself more clearly. So use your analy uh, analytical thinking and your critical thinking during this time, okay? When something happens and you instantly go to that instant first reaction, oh my God, it was this situation. Don't think that, just sit back and say, is this everything that's actually happening, okay? Because this is a time, especially during the retrograde of, damn mercury again okay we've got to sit there and really analyze what's going on okay i want to go back to the first line she's telling me read the first line again the moon represents illusionary situations popular possible deceptions and feelings of uncertainty okay so just keep that in mind this week okay that this week will have false realities coming out all right trust your gut that's what it's saying use your intuitiveness and go with what you believe okay so that's the moon card secondly they asked me to do the little lovey-dovey card here he is little lovey-dovey card this one says love would smile at every given opportunity so as to spread joy so i'll put it up so you can have a read wow Love would smile at every given opportunity. Because remember, when we're having all these doubts, when we're having these new things coming into our lives, it's always scary, but it's always an opportunity. Okay? I was just talking to someone yesterday, and I said, I feel like the yes man. You know that Jim Carrey movie? I feel like being the yes man where I've got to say, if I see something and it says, hey, sign up for this. Yes, I'm going to do that. Okay, come along and join this group. Yes, I'm going to do that. Because this is a time where we're discovering who we are. And how do we know what we like unless we experience what we don't like? So think of it that way, okay? If someone says, hey, come along, I'm doing a, a painting course. And you think, really? Painting? I don't like it? Go along anyway. Because this is your opportunity to say, now I know why I don't like it. Okay? So then you can look within 
and take it as that opportunity of spreading joy to others. So then you can identify things, why it's always that opportunity. I personally don't like painting, but you like painting. I can understand why, okay? So it's being supportive and smiling at every opportunity that comes, okay? The next card from Louise Benton, here is her pack. If you want one of the packs, it's down in the description. I'll just quickly show you how thick it is. There's heaps of cards in there, okay? Heaps of cards in there. Okay, she does all the artwork herself. So here's the artwork on this card. Beautiful, isn't it? I love talking about Louise Benton's cards. And this card is Peace. So I'll put it up just for a second if you want to pause the screen and read it yourself. Okay? So what does Peace say today? <clears throat> Surrender to your spirit's nurturing presence. <sighs> See, I love how all these cards co co coexist together. Surrender, which means allow. Allow your nurturing to occur. Okay, look at the moon where they were saying all these things are going to go hay cray for us this week. Okay, take this as an opportunity to sit there and ride this storm of emotions that's coming. Nurturing presence. Now, funny, today is Mother's Day. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Surrender to your spirit's nurturing presence. Feed your tender, peaceful essence. So how do we feed peace? We do something about it. <laughs> It could be just taking five minutes to just look at the stars at night. It could be to just sit and pause and contemplate where you are. It could be taking that bubble bath or going for that nice drive into the country. It could be a representative of a lot of things happening. But take that time to feed it, okay? So if you want to be peaceful, it doesn't mean you have to go out and start attacking people and causing gossip and doing all this stuff. Pause, breathe, relax, okay? Let silence enfold you and rest a while. I just said that, didn't I? Pause. I don't read these before I pull them, okay? I just stick it on the table because I want to do it live with you guys. Okay, <clears throat> let silence enfold you and rest a while. So this is where we pause and we think, right, I've got all these emotions coming through my head. I'm having crazy dreams. All this weird stuff's happening. Just pause and allow or surrender to it. Pardon me. Okay. From the chaos of this world, the struggle and toil. So let silence unfold and rest a while from the chaos of this world. The world is in chaos. And I'll go there. <clears throat> You know, back in 2001, when I met my great-great-great-great-grandmother, she told me 2003 to 2004 is going to be a doozy. Pardon me. We think we've best just been through the worst of it. No, nah, pardon me. Things are definitely starting to heat up all over the planet. Okay? I seriously hope it doesn't go the way I think it will. But everything else she told me has come true. So I'm preparing for it myself, okay? So there is chaos. There's a struggle and a toil, okay? <clears throat> Drift into the mystic realms. You're limitless self-expanding out. So this is where we look within us. You know, you sit there and you think, who is Linda? God, that's a doozy. Who is Linda? And you just pull out one attribute or one characteristic. Linda's kind. There you go. That's a nice one for the day. Linda's kind. Okay. Your limitless self-expanding out. So this is where you say, okay, Linda's kind. What do I do to show others that I'm kind? What do I do for myself to show that I'm kind? It's Mother's Day today. Remember I said it at the beginning. So I go and see my mum. I see my sister. I see my daughter. I even see the cat because she's a mum. She's had kittens. But what do I do for me? So this is where we take that moment to pause and reflect and think, what does Linda need today as well? OK, 
okay? If you're a guy watching this, chances are you're not a mum. But I'm, I'm pretty guessing here there's been some chances through your life where you have acted as a mother. You've acted in that nurturing, supportive, mentoring role. Okay? So take that time out and appreciate all those opportunities that we have been in. Okay, so back to the card. Allow the thoughts and fears to subside. Oh my God, is this the moon or not? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to go back to the moon card. Oh my God, what did it say? Where is it? The moon? Okay. Okay. Feelings of uncertainty. Emotions are highly charged and fluctuating. And this card says, where am I? Allow the thoughts and fears to subside as distortions of the world are put aside. Distortions are all those illusionary thoughts that we have. We're creating those outcomes in our head before it actually occurs. So don't do that. Just allow. Okay? Just allow this week. That's what the cards are saying. Allow. All you will ever need resides within. Okay? Inside. Yield and soften. Let your heart be your guide. So this is where it says, go with your gut. Use your intuition. And if you haven't been good with your intuition or you want some more self-development, go and do a Google on it. Go watch how to um, psychic exercises on YouTube, etc. Okay, it's all out there for free. Or check out some of my um, videos further down in the video list, okay? Because I've got some in there, um, development, etc. The eternal present moment, soul's resting place, fall into its blissful embrace I am peace in this moment now it's not saying I am peace tomorrow I was peace yesterday it's saying I am peace in this moment so remember before when I said take that five minutes for yourself this is what we've got to do this week stay calm buckle up because we're on a roller coaster okay and it's going up the hill you know what happens when it gets to the top of the hill <laughs> and then it does all the rolls and stuff so buckle on and put your seatbelt on and really this week just pause relax and try and stay calm through what's happening okay wow so now that i've got all that let's go over and see what ruin stone i get oh my god i love my tarot on a sunday morning Okay, so I shuffle them up, I connect with them all, give me a card, for, um, a, sorry, start again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pause. I would like a ruin for the whole world for the next week. Isn't it funny, they all went cold then. They all went cold. <clears throat> I can feel the stones through the bag. Give me a card for the, um, a ruined stone that's representative for the whole world what the world needs for the next week okay and I put my hand into the bag I've got my hand in the bag oh he's a warm one he's a big one what is he oh this guy okay so let's put him over there well, let's get my ruined card guide where is he this is the one I think I had last week. It's the cattle card stone. So I'll put him up there so you can see him. There he is. He's the, it's like a, oh no, that's not him. It's a different one this week. Oh, it's this one. It's here. <coughs> okay, let me just hold the stone up. Hang on, bear with me. There he is. It's this one. This one is the one I'm going to read. All right, this is mouth. And it's pronounced Ansu's. The ruin of Odin also means mouth, the symbol of the spoken word. Often associated with the getting of wisdom and or taking advice, often from elders. So, <clears throat> I can already see the connection. I hope you guys can too. Let me just wipe my, um, just let me wipe my eyes because they're watering. Oh my gosh. Why do my, why, why do my eyes always water? I don't want to go into it, but I was punched in the side of the head by a certain person in America. Um, 
and I do have an eye injury okay so my eyes do water quite a lot just to let you know but it's an opportunity right <laughs> I always look at them as opportunities okay so the answers is mouth let's have a look so it's always a positive sign is the dot first dot point yay it's because this is all opportunities coming for us this week right second dot point be aware and open to advice from a wiser other especially an older person or superior surrounding ruins in the cast may indicate source for other advice okay so i've got to use the other cards here um as advice so to, firstly we've got to look today's mother's day we're looking at that wisdom from elderly people right because we're going to see our mother okay so it's the generation back the elders okay so today's a day to pause and relax and just say to yourself you know what's coming this week we're going to be going cray cray with our um emotions are going to go hey cray i call it okay um we're going to be having heaps of opportunities coming to our world to understand whether we are on this side or that side or i feel like this or i don't feel like this okay so heaps of things are happening the last dot point says be thoughtful <laughs> oh my god okay consider the advice received it is likely to be unbiased and given honestly okay so let me just go there get rid of my card guide first okay all right okay when we think of advice we always listen to other people's advice right i i offer free advice on this channel and it's up to you whether you take it or leave it right you know i might say something and you go nah i'm not gonna listen to that nah 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 okay it's all good but what this is happening now is oh my god who's the best person to give us advice us me me so look at yourself and say who's the person who's going to give me the best advice this week me okay me oh so this week guys i'm excited you know some really cray cray things are going to happen this week to a lot of many people okay <laughs> when it happens <laughs> When you see all this weird stuff occurring over the next week, sit back and pause. <clears throat> Remember, everything's an opportunity, okay? An opportunity. You know, you might look at someone doing something really crazy and you think, thank God that's him and not me. <laughs> you know, you start laughing at it. Laugh at it because it's an opportunity, right? What, what's the best way to raise up our vibration we laugh okay so if you see someone doing something really crazy this week and you think this is mercury in retrograde to its peak <laughs> sit there and you laugh at it okay because a lot of illusionary things are going to come out this week we've got the moon go and have a do, do a google what does the moon mean in tarot oh my gosh maybe you don't want to do that one okay <laughs> see how i'm laughing because this is a perfect opportunity for all of us this week to stay centered and grounded okay get your advice from all your other sources and think okay what am i going to listen to what am i going to discard and ultimately who am i going to trust and that answer is always trust your gut okay go with your gut because if we do raise our vibration and we're staying in that really good feeling <clears throat> peace comes to us and what does peace give us it gives us that clarity it gives us that awareness and most of all it's when magic occurs talk to you all next week guys hope you have a great week comment below if anything weird happens <laughs> i'm waiting for it talk to you then bye to learn more about your solistic alignment please press the like button and click subscribe to purchase any of dr linda kramer's books or services 
please visit www.lindaray.info.